It was a joyous day on April 17, 2021, the ribbon cutting of the Carpentria Boathouse mural painting. Joyous because it celebrated the completion of the Boathouse mural at the end of Ash Avenue in Carpentria. And people were also joyful because it seems like the worst of the pandemic is over. Hounded me to make this happen. No, we they, chatted they with Ernie happen, Merlin, so. the man in charge who heads up an organization called Muralism. Muralism connects people with special needs to the community through art. So what we do is we create paint by number murals and then we invite the community to come out and paint them with us. Then we come back and we clean up all of the drips and splotches and refine the mural. And then we do a ribbon cutting with the whole community to celebrate. This one's really exciting because it's to honor Ray Cole, which was a beloved watercolorist here in Carpinteria. And it involves the Cole family, uh, Carp Beautiful, and the city of Carpinteria, specifically Parks and Recs. Matt Roberts, come on up from Parks and Recs, made this possible. Um, they, they brought together the money, gave us the boathouse to do it on, and uh, gave us an office to work out of. So thank you so much, Matt making this possible. A wonderful job. I have no prepared remarks, but I do want to say that I know Ray, I knew Ray really well. I really enjoyed that man. He was great. And um, this is a dream come true. This is absolutely spectacular. The uh, boat house here stands as an education center. Many don't realize this, but it's on the state's map for being a boating education center. And literally thousands of kids have come through here and learned how to kayak, learned a little about boating safety. And we hope to always to elevate the marine biology aspect of that. And this project does that. So it really is true for me. It's a dream come true. Thank you for the, Roy, the, the Cole family, Ernie, and you guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I just want to say that it was going to be just a simple uh, mural on the wall. But then Matt sent me a list of 200 different characters that needed to be on there. So <laughs> So it wasn't so simple anymore. There's two ways that the community benefits. One is that they, of course, get to walk by and see all the color in the mural and all the color in their community. But then it also employs people with special needs. It employs people in the community that are often disregarded or um, apart from the community. This allows them to come work, get paid, and be a part of the community and, and be able to stand next to somebody and talk to them. And that way they get to know them and the community gets to know our artists. So what do you think the people with special needs and the others get out of it? Well, I think that this connects the entire community. I think that there's people who are isolated and not part of, of the community in different ways, whether they are not working or they simply have no one to talk to, especially during COVID, everyone's been locked up. So this is a way that everyone can, can come out and work together, maybe not side by side because of COVID, we have to be six feet apart. But we've been able to schedule people at different times to come out here, have great conversations with the people they're working next to, learn from people that they thought maybe they had nothing to learn from. Um, it's a great way of bringing the community together and beautifying at the same at the same time. It's been great to actually have a job and make money during a pandemic. I challenge you to find the gold tooth on the fish, which is my favorite part of the whole entire mural. It just gives that that carpentry of quirkiness. So it's a win-win all around because all of the young adults uh, with special needs uh, and developmental disabilities get to be out here, create beauty for their community, and while doing it, working hand in hand with the community members, get to meet them. The way we get uniformity of look in the mural is that all of us work kind of on top of each other. We have someone that comes through and does the drawing, someone else that comes through and does the modeling, someone else that then comes through and does the coloring on it, and then I come through in the end and do the final refining where I push the darks and the lights. That way in the end, there might have been 12 people working on the mural, but it all looks like one hand. Hi, camera. <laughs> Kit showed us the different stages of what the kelp looks like when painted. So this is basically what it looks like at step one, phase one. Uh, of, then, of the seaweed? Of the sea, uh, yeah, the sea kelp. And then this would be phase two, if you will, mm -hmm. with the shading coming in with the darker tone. It's finished. Oh. And it's probably still more detailed. I'm uh, waiting for the mayor of the city of Carpinteria. This is amazing. 
was good friends with Ray. Ray actually served with me on the Architectural Review Board. And because of that, I, I couldn't wait to see it. I saw the renderings. It is amazing. They did a great job. I'm with Carpentry Beautiful, and we're one-third of the donors for this. And so it was just real exciting when it was presented to us, the whole idea of involving the community and helping to actually paint it. And it, it just looks fabulous. Hi, guys. Thank you for coming out. Um, Brian Moots, the current head of Carpentry Beautiful, told us about some of the other things Carpentry Beautiful has sponsored. We do a lot of community cleanup projects. We do a lot of environmental projects. We uh, take care of tagging, graffiti. We uh, take care, we have a team of people pick up trash. We have memorial plaques. We uh, do murals such as this and John Wolbrandt's murals. Uh, we put in the table tennis, uh, cement table tennis uh, court at the end of Ash, uh, in Linden Avenue. Uh, so you'll see our mark everywhere. All in all, the community is proud of its new Boathouse mural. It's an example of a socially distanced pandemic project that the community should enjoy for years to come. Thank you so much for wearing your masks. Um, we, we want to stay safe, but how great is it to have everyone together again and, you know, after this tough time? Stuck in the middle with you. Yes, I'm stuck in the middle with you.